Hey, this is Pokeball35, and welcome back to How I Play Splatoon 2! This is the series where I play weapons that I enjoy, and I show you my gear builds, strategies, and generally, how I play them. This episode in particular is going to be a continuation of a previous episode on the Octobrush, or specifically the Hero Brush replica, which is the one that I play. Uh, I played this in Tower Control last time. And generally, I do like this in tower control, but mostly I play this weapon in splat zones. Uh, just to go over the build that I have once more, in case you did not see the previous episode on the Octobrush, I wear a one main, one sub of special power-up for the inkjet, uh, five subs of swim speed for swim movement, sub power-up to be able to throw auto bombs farther away, uh, sub saver to save ink on the auto bombs, and drop roller, because when jumping in or having your inkjet finish up, you can roll on the ground uh, when you land and you can get a little bit of a movement buff th for three seconds to be able to get out of the way and it's generally very helpful. Uh, it is currently Manta Maria and Inkblot Art Academy Splat Zones and I will see you in the first match. Alright, first match here on Manta Maria. Let's see here. What's our comp looking like? What's their comp looking like? They have a Brella. I don't enjoy fighting Brellas when I have a brush, but hopefully we can make this work. Uh, their Sploosh has Ninja Squid, which might be a little bit annoying. Uh, I feel like for this, I kind of want to go up here. I can just, like, do a little bit of that. Oh. And apparently I didn't kill the Dooley Squelchers because- or I killed the Dooley Squelchers and not the Dynamo, apparently. I had no idea the Dooley Sculptures were there because I was going after the Dynamo, but here we are. Alright, so generally speaking, I want to be a little bit sneaky and a little bit ag aggressive. I can kill this guy. Never mind. They got it covered. Yeah, I generally want to be sneaky and aggressive with this. Because that's pretty much what the Octobrush is fantastic at. So let's just, let's just go up here. Never mind. As in, let's die because they have Umbrella, and I just said I absolutely hate fighting Brellas when I'm a, an Octobrush. Uh, let's see if I can jump to this. Nope, that's probably the Brella, isn't it? Oh no, it's the Oct- Oh, there's Nope, just everybody's here. Alright, not a good- not a good- Why is that Ultra Stamp lasting 10 years with no special power-up? That lasted an extremely long time. Alright, I don't want to get cocky with this. I do want to, like, stand back when I need to. Like, I can't go be aggressive, like, all the time. Alright, let's push that brush away. And this Dynamo Roller is just kind of here. Please go away. We can get our zone back. Let's go over here. Let's paint up. Oh, you know, that if that landed, that would have been a sick snipe. Okay, I'm going to throw some auto bombs. Oh, hello. You know what? Sure. The, uh, the hitbox on the Ultra Stamp's a little bit jank, so I'm kind of surprised I died to that. Uh, they have the Brella there still that is not worth jumping back. I'm just gonna uh, paint up more from behind. I can come up here. And get one shot? Oh yeah, the main power-up. If for some reason every time I run into Dooley Squelchers in ranked, they're wearing nothing but main power-up and don't actually bother to wear any, like, gear. I got the drop roller for a reason, buddy. That is entirely why I wear it. And I didn't get the jump there. That did not make any sense. Okay, I'm gonna try and sneak around again. To the side. Oh, I can kill whoever this is. The, uh... Whoa. Who is even here anymore? I can't see anybody. I could have sworn that guy was, like, behind in front. Behind in, of me. But, sure. Alright, I'm gonna jump to this and drop off. Like, drop behind me. Uh, we got stuff over there. Let's paint up our wall. I'll throw that at the Brella. I really want the Brella to not look at me so I can get this. Okay, wait, I can kill the Brella. I can kill the Brella. Boom, nice double kill there. I have no idea where anybody else is, but that's perfect. Since the, uh, the Brella launched his shield, he had nothing to protect him, and it takes forever for Splat Brellas to, like, recharge. Let's just flank it. Can't say I was expecting the guy to just stand there and I'll run into his face. 
There's a lot of really dumb stuff happening in this match. Can I jump to this? I really want to want to try and secure this. Okay, nope, never mind. And that didn't kill. Sometimes it'd be like that. I'm not gonna, like, go super deep now. It's not worth it. We just have to play really defensive for a minute. We have a minute left. This Ultra Stamp really wants to get in here right now. He is being a real jerk face. I'm gonna throw this at the Dynamo. And he really wants to come up here, huh? You really like this? You really like this area? I'm gonna inch him. Get that guy out of the way. I hit somebody there. It wasn't a direct hit, but I hit somebody there. Get you out of the way. Throw this back there. We can cover our zone again. <laughs> Sometimes it's best for me to just stand back and throw auto bombs when I need to. Because I, I have the sub power up, so I can just throw them really far away. I don't know how we don't have this capped by now. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to do. Alright, let's get back up here. I can just brush across this. Get him from behind. Get the Brella from behind. Get this guy. Bop. Bop. That didn't really kill him. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Uh, there was some kind of stupid mistakes I was doing by like jumping in thinking I could save myself. But overall, that was a good match. I think I played well. I'm also just remembering that I played Manta Maria Tower Control in the other Octobrush episode, so now you're getting double Manta Maria action. Plus six. Oh well. <laughs> Not as much as I hoped, but I will see you in the next match. Game number two, Inkblot Art Academy. Now, I kind of don't really enjoy playing Inkblot all that much in solo queue because it just devolves into someone with long range sitting on top mid camping and everyone else uh, rushes your plat and you die. Uh, so hopefully let's not have that happen. I kind of want to paint up plat first just to make sure we have a little bit of movement. Normally I try and go straight for the middle tower, which I didn't do this time because like I just want to stand back and paint first. Now, now I can inkjet the zone and just get some stuff. Perfect. Uh, all it's left is a tri slosher. No idea where he is, but I got a little bit of paint there. Let's climb up. Not gonna let that hit me. I right, gotta dodge the missiles. There's somebody there. Uh, get the armor off. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. You're gonna lose zone, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna stand back here in inkjet. I can push back in like this. Which isn't a massive push back in, but I got some ink on the floor. There's all that's left is the Dewey Sculptures. And Dewey Sculptures are gone. Perfect. Paint all this up. Hopefully no one comes from there. This is just another stage where I enjoy throwing auto bombs on the plat. I saw that jet sculpture and I'm like, what is he trying to do? I enjoy sitting on top of top mid on this stage uh, whenever we can, so that way I can just cover pretty much all of zone at all times and then just throw auto bombs from the distance. And then be aggressive when I can. They do have ink armor. A little bit unfortunate with that and the missiles. I'm gonna die to that. Ooh, I'm really... You know, I'll take the trade. Uh, that's three down still. Uh, the Jet Squelcher is somewhere. I don't know where the Jet Squelcher is. He's on the opposite side of zone. We're good. I can jump back in. I can roll back in. Throw some auto bombs. Here, I'm gonna try something. First, let me not die. Where is... Okay, well, I wanted to get on that little side of the block and stay there. And then I saw the junior. I'm like, oh, let me kill the junior. And then, like, the junior just kind of disappeared. And now there's a guy behind me. And I am extremely confused. <laughs> like, I hope you guys saw that, too. Like, I was going to kill the junior. And then the junior just kind of disappeared. Oh, here's the part where they all come up onto our plat and give us a bad time. 
gonna throw some auto bombs there. But ink store, yeah, ink jet here. We have the double ink jet. We can get people off top mid. That jet sculpture is really weak. Unfortunately, I didn't get him. Yep, he here's what I'm talking about. Mm, don't like this. I'm gonna try and go this way because I can't really go anywhere else. Everyone else is just, is just gonna feed on the plat. Throw some auto bombs over there. Maybe I can build ink jet real quick. I do have ink armor. Okay, dude, good. We got the zone back. But at what cost? I have no idea how that guy is hitting me. I really want him to come get me. As in, I'm gonna jump out. There we go, drop roll. Throw more auto bombs. Good, good armor. <laughs> Cover that side zone. Okay, I need to get back up here. Junior's really weak. There's two backed up over here. It is not worth me being here. I got completely trapped. There was too many people in the way. That's really bad for me. I don't know why I went and did that. Uh, I think it's a safe jump now. Hopefully we can still keep zone. No. I'm not going to roll there. They have so many splat bombs. Like, no splat bomb rush. Just a bunch of splat bombs. And I really do not like this. Get out. Okay, I'm going to save my inkjet. I can do this and then climb up. Push that guy away. There we go. Got him. Cool. I can roll. I definitely want to be covering up this area just so they don't come through here again. We can get our lead back. I'm just going to watch this real quick. Uh, the Jet Sculpture has range. I don't know why he's trying to aggress like this. Oh, we have 10 seconds left. We just knock everybody out. We're sadly not going to KO. Uh, if we had, like, literally three extra seconds, we would have KO'd there. But that was a pretty decent match. I know, I think I said it in the first episode uh, that I did on Octobrush. But I personally like to run... Uh, Drop Roller on the Inkjet one, but I can swap it out for Object Shredder. Object Shredder really, really helps on the Octo Brush. When I eventually, when I do episodes on the other two kinds of Octo Brushes, I'll uh, wear Object Shredder for those because I know the Object Shredder is really going to help for all the the armor and stuff. It's kind of hard for me to deal with that. Anyway, I will see you in the next match. Game number three, heading back to Manta Maria. I think I want to try and do exactly what I did last time, which is head up on top mid, unless they have like a splatling. They have a- they have an Octobrush of their own. They might do the same thing. Uh, they have a lot of swim speed. It's really the- the Tentabrella and the Octobrush have self-jump. Let's see if I can make it up here. Go the other way. Yep. That way I can come over here. I'm gonna hide right here. Throw some auto bombs. Should probably get off of this area. Oh, you- okay, yeah. Sure. The spider shot just kind of did whatever the hell he wanted there. Like, he, he walked toward me, I hit him a couple times, and then he dodge rolled midair to get out of the way, which is, like, what spider shot does. Like, that's just a thing the spider shot does. This isn't propaganda or anything, that's just straight up an ability it has. Alright, the Octobrush there is kind of stuck. And somehow that's not a trade, even though I saw him there and also I was hitting him. Sometimes fighting brushes as a brush is, like, really, really jank. All right, I'm gonna jump back. Roll forward. Yeah, I don't like he being here. Especially with the Ultra Stamp. I'll just... Wait, can I do it? Yes, I can get the swipe and then climb. I'll just stay here real quick. Oh, gotta inkjet this. He's really weak. Somehow he didn't die to that, but sure. I feel like I'm gonna get flanked by you. You're getting out of here right now. Ah, uh, get the tent. That's perfect. I'll take the trade there. Kinda sucks that I didn't kill the junior as well. The junior painted up the zone. And that's a double kill. Alright, we're not jumping to that. We're just gonna brush myself back. Uh, you're not going anywhere. I mean, I guess you could just go over there. That's completely fine. I fell somehow. 
That's unfortunate. Well, now, now that people aren't killing the junior, that's what the problem is. Like, I'm fine with him coming here if he's not gonna do anything, but when my teammates don't actually look at him, that's the problem. I need to get Inkjet to deal with the Tentabrella so I can knock his shield out of the way. Actually, no, he just got rid of it. That's fine. Or the lag could just occur, and I could kill that guy, and then he kills me. I, I have to jump to this now. There's really not much of a choice here. He does have Ultra Stamp. Hopefully he doesn't use on me. I can kill him. Or the game could just deny that for absolutely no goddamn reason. And my team is throwing. And thus is the solo QA. Uh, well, cool. I'm so glad nobody was pushing up like we were supposed to. There was a little bit of jank on fighting the other brush there. But like, that's fine. I can take trades like that. When my teammates aren't moving anywhere, then I can't move up. So that is their problem. Still consistently at the top, that's what I expect. That's only minus two, that's not bad. Considering I got a plus six and a plus three just now, I am not really worried. I will see you in the next match. All right, back to Manta Maria once more. What are the cops? Ah, oh, sweet, we have Draconif on my team. He recently just bodied me in a tournament <laughs> the other day, and I'm happy he's on my team this time. Hopefully his charger can help us. Um, Spoosh has Ninja Squid. I'm gonna go this way this time. I'm gonna try and flank this time. Oh, I can absolutely kill this guy. No idea what he's trying to do. I'm right in front of him. I'm gonna attempt to throw auto bombs on top mid here because they have the Hydra and the... Um, the flings are roller up there. Look at to do this. Oh wait, that's the Hydra. Can I not be bad? Nope, I could just be bad. <laughs> I didn't see the Hydra there. I really wish I killed him. I'm gonna paint up our wall, paint up their wall. It's kind of shark here. You're gone. That shouldn't have killed me, considering he flicked like a million years ago, and then I was swinging at him. I'm gonna put him solo queue on that one. Uh, that should be a relatively safe jump. There's a guy behind us. How many splat bombs you got? Why were there so many? <laughs> I mean, I know the, the uh, Sorella bro gets splat bomb rush, but that kind of like happened forever ago. <clears throat> I'm just gonna swim back on this one. Paint up our wall. Uh, Brella dropped. He's dead. That guy's gone. And I'm somehow dead there. I mean, I'm still putting in work. I'm still getting the kills. It's just that the game is doing some weird stuff. Uh, we're probably going to lose zone because of that. Because I don't know why people are jumping to that. That is, There's no reason to jump to that. I'm going to die here. That was the sploosh? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on in this match. Some, there's a lot of stuff not making sense. I'm gonna jump here, though. That one's 100% safe. What is this guy doing? Yeah, I'm not so sure about this sploosh matic He hit me from, like... Splatter shot range, and I'm not so sure about that. Is this the Splu 7 from last episode that's coming to haunt me or some shit? Because I'm not about it. I'm just gonna patiently charge Inkjet here because I really need to wait for my teammates to come back in order to push up. I'm gonna do this here. Nobody's there. Paint that a little bit more. Please go away. That would be amazing if you could. Yeah, I need to throw some stuff up there. I'd really like to keep the zone. There we go. That's what I want. I'm gonna die to that. I'm not gonna die to that. I'm gonna die to that, though. I forgot how fast the Flingsa is. 
Well, I got what I needed to happen to happen there. We're getting flanked. Like, there's no reason for all this thing to be here. We did get the punishment, which is nice. Try and get someone from here. Got all these splat bombs. I have to back up. I have no idea what to do right now. That bomb's not gonna get me. I have to get Inkjet. I just have to get Inkjet and do this. Okay then, that looked really strange. Okay, that's two. Down. That's the zone again. I'm gonna climb back up here. Out of the flings that didn't move, I can kill the Brella almost. Almost kill the Brella. Push him back just a little bit. Please! I hate fighting Brellas. Got him. Okay, good. Get him over the wall a little. Yeah, we have 20 seconds to hold this. I'm just gonna try and focus on defending. I know they have the splat bomb rush. I really don't want to die here! That bomb was laggy as fuck, I am telling you. Holy shit. Alright, I can't jump. We just have to neutralize the zone. I swear, if that killed me, that would have been really upsetting. I'm gonna throw some auto bombs, get some ink on the floor here. People are complaining that they're dying to easy shit. Get one. Alright, that's three down. We should be able to get this. It's just the flings are hitting from above, and that's no- that's- we can deal with that. And like, if we lose to that, that's some embarrassment. Good. I got what I needed to get done, done there. It was very sloppy, but I definitely got it done. I had to, like, crack my knuckles for that one. Huh. <sighs> Let's see how we did. Got 10. T-Tech underperformed. Wow, their Hydra didn't really do a lot. It was a very, very <clears throat> vanilla Hydra, which, is like, you don't really see. I think they would have won if they went custom Hydra. Either way, I will see you in the next match. Back to Inkblot Art Academy we go! Comp! I have the good charger again. They have Nautilus and the brush and jet. I'm gonna try and head straight for mid. Uh, cause I really like getting to the mid tower as fast as possible. I can get this guy wherever he went. I can't see. Get you out of the way. Get you out of the way. All it's left is the jet sculpture, and the jet sculpture is gone. Perfect. I couldn't have gone any better. I'm gonna stay up top. <laughs> throw some auto bombs. And throw some stuff up on their snipe, their little sniping platform there. Just gonna watch both sides of the zone. You should go away. Oh, we're doing an inkjet battle. I'm just gonna paint zone with that. I pretty much made him waste it there, and then he got his jump camped. Oh, please get closer to me, get closer to me, get closer to me, get closer to me. Yes! Oh, never mind, he died. <laughs> I really wanted to get him out of Inkjet. I like swiping Inkjets out of the air with the, uh, with my brush. That's a fun thing to do. Get the Ultra Stamp. Get the Nautilus. They somehow have the zone painted. That literally makes zero sense. There was one guy in the zone and three of us. I'm gonna get over here and inkjet. I don't know why it took me four hits to kill that guy. I also don't know how I died there. I had drop roller, but again, this game's a little bit weird. That guy's wearing hot. That's unfortunate. I probably should have looked at what the abilities they're wearing. The brush is ninja squid. I honestly haven't even noticed it. Well, here we go. Here's the start of this. Can't wait for them to just come up on the plat and kill us. Like this. But I'm a brush, so... I can just do that. 
Again, you're just giving me more ink to build inkjet with. I'm gonna go this way. It sounds like a much better idea. I can hit the Nautilus a little bit. The jet Sculpture. Oh, he just, he just body blocked the Jet Sculpture. The Jet Sculpture was gonna die there, and the Nautilus just came and... Oh, fuck! <laughs> okay, never mind. They were just all there for some reason. Uh, I can jump to this. Kind of messed up my thing there. Got one with the auto bomb. I don't know where these people are coming from. Gotta throw that over there. I'm gonna get back up on plat. Or get over to plat. We have a ray coming out. I'm gonna inkjet this because fuck you. That's like a really obvious thing they're gonna do. They always come up on plat. Drop down. Kinda wanna paint this a little, just in case they come from here. Throw that up there. Oh, they missiled me. I don't like that. Don't like that. Oh, he's just dead. He was gonna try and come kill me and we had the guy up top to shoot him. All right, let's go be annoying. I have the time to be annoying. Oh, we traded. As long as the guys don't drop off of plat, we'll be fine. Cool. I'm actually getting some like really decent games in, surprisingly. I think we have time for like one more game, unless it's really fast and I'll do two, but if it's gonna be one more like massive game, then I'll do one more. It's actually going really well. I'm not getting any points, but it's actually going really well. I got 11 there, doing my part. Uh, plus six, again, not really getting any points, but you know, whatever. I will see you in possibly the last match. And back on Inkblot Art Academy, we go. What are our comps looking like? Again, it's pretty much the exact same comp from last match, which I am a fan of. That helps us significantly. Uh, Tentabrilla has Ninja Squid, which is kind of an interesting take. There's a shark right here. I didn't mean to fall there, that's unfortunate. I killed their brush. I really wish I didn't fall there. I could have not traded with him. That would have been a lot better. Uh, thankfully, it's three down. Uh, we're not there to paint, but it is three down. Get out of here with your stupid ass wobbles. I can kill this guy easy. And their brush is there. He's the last one, of course. Of course, he's right there. Hopefully a charger can paint zone a little bit. I'm gonna jump back. I'm expecting someone to come through. Okay, they didn't. Yeah, you have fun with that. You have fun with those bubbles, huh? Have fun with those. Oh, just their tent tentabrilla, which I can almost kill. I again, I guess that's the ninja squid coming into play. I didn't see him swim over there. Oh, let's jump back to mid. Paint, paint, paint. There's one guy here. I saw him. Oh, hi. I don't know how that doesn't kill. Like, at all, considering I hit him like three times before that and two times when he was in this ultra stamp. But, okay. If you say so. Let me get up here. There's some stuff up there. Because I see the carbon up on that block. Yeah, 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 bubbles, bubble blower on the, the, the Kent's Jr. That was the autobomb that killed me, apparently. Okay, I have to build up Inkjet and not throw my stock away. I can get Inkjet easy from this. Good kill there. I'm gonna Inkjet here. Again, just not kill anybody even though they're clearly right there. I'm not gonna do that. Get me up here. I gotta paint a bunch. 
like a lot, a lot right now. We really need to make this comeback happen. All right, Spiral War Zone. Get the Tentabrilla. There's one coming from the right side. Throw some stuff on their plat. Get this painted back up so for an escape plan. Uh, they do have the Bubble Blower coming out, the Bubble Blower, and the Ink Storm, and the Ultra Stamp. I killed the Ultra Stamp. Or, I helped kill, it, kill the Ultra Stamp there. I'm recording this episode slightly before, like, a couple days before a patch comes out, and it's gonna nerf the Bubble Blower. So I'm really hoping that... I mean, when this episode comes out, the patch would have already happened, but I'm really hoping that it significantly nerfs the Bubble Blower combo with the Kenza Jr. Either way, I think uh, that's gonna be it. Um, I kind of died a bunch, but that's really what happens when I play Octobrush. It's a lot of trading. A lot of trading or missing kills, but you do get a lot of, like, doubles and triples, uh, when necessary. How many points? Ten points. Hey, that's a- uh, that's a number, I guess. I'd say that's pretty dang decent. Well, that's Splat Zones with the Octobrush. I do really enjoy still playing zones with the Octobrush. I know those matches went a lot better than the tower control matches from last time because I got a couple losses there. The one loss I got this time was just dumb stuff happening. We couldn't really cap zone. Uh, all in all, I'd say it was fine. I could definitely could have done a lot better. I don't really have much else to say other than I enjoy playing splat zones with the Octobrush. I know uh, since this is the vanilla Octobrush, I wear drop roller. I know Object Trader would really help. A lot of situations that I encountered during today's episode uh, probably could have been avoided if I was wearing Object Trader. I could have probably gotten armor off uh, people a lot more. Either way, that is going to be the episode. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Uh, I do stream a lot of Splatoon on Twitch if you are interested. I stream just about daily. Lots of Splatoon 2. It is the main thing that I stream there. Uh, link is in the description as always. As well, you can find the link to my Twitter account where you can keep up to date with everything else I'm doing in my life. Thank you for watching this episode on the Octobrush and Splat Zones, and I will see you in the next episode.